Welcome back to Visual Eye Candy's Reviews Just For You. I'm reviewing two different dish drying racks that I got off Amazon.ca. The company is called iSpeckle. Hey, welcome back to my channel, Reviews Just For You. I just got this box. I ordered a dish rack because I'm really tired of my old dish rack. dish rack for a long time. This one's actually by Ikea. Like, it's okay, it works for what I need. But I want a dish rack that can go across, excuse me, I want a dish rack that can go across, I want a, a dish rack that goes across, I don't want like anything on my, on my dish, on my counter anymore, like I want it to be cleaned off, like I want it to be clear, so I want something that be able to, I can store all my stuff on like my dishes and, and have it open and not like having that dish rack here. Undecided on, I was undecided on what dish rack I wanted to get. I wanna see which one I like the best and what are the benefits of both dish racks. Go for about 70, $80. I wasn't sponsored on this at all. Uh, this is from amazon.ca. I'm gonna open them up and take a look and see what they look like inside, how you get them and how they ship them to you. So it's okay. Uh, there was no other extra packaging. There was some paper on top and that was about we'll it. We'll check it out. Okay, so, wow, I'm really impressed actually. I'm impressed with the packaging, which I've never seen anything like this before. The company I ordered from is called iSpeco. The reviews looked really great. Uh, this first one is kind of like a cast, or sorry, a powder coated painted dish rack in black. And then there was this one from just a stainless steel one. Wow, I'm really, I'm really um, impressed on how they package their, their product. Um, you know, like, hey, it takes away from bubble wrap. That's great. And then there's enough air pockets in there. So if they knock against each other, you're not going to have any problems. So that's great. I looked at the reviews online and I was looking for an over-the-counter dish rack and organizer. So this is what came up. So I looked at the stainless steel one, which looked pretty good, which had like 72 reviews, which were pretty positive. And this only actually had a couple. I don't know why this one wasn't selling. I have no idea why. But it gives you the full instructions, uh, what's included. So this is what it looks like. This one looks like. That one. So this one's all the powder coated in black. Supposedly it's supposed to be stainless steel, it says. So we'll go find out. Uh, they really package, package up this product very well. Very good. Wow. I think it really takes care of the bubble wrap. And it's actually really, and like I'm pushing pretty hard. It's like good. It's like very good. That's great. So this is all the items that come in there for that for that product. So it shows on the instruction, this is what it's gonna look like, what's included, and everything else. So that's great. That's awesome. So yeah, that's what it looks like. So that's the first one. That's the first dish rack organizer. Uh, this is a powder coated black one. And then I have the stainless steel All one. Right, so this is the other dish rack that goes over the counter. It'll be at the back here. I'm gonna try them out both. As you can see, these are both equally very well packaged. It's got all the different things included, like the silverware holder and the hooks, uh, the instructions. So everything is really nicely sealed. What they have, I've seen other customers who ordered this and there was like probably 72 positive reviews um, and it has really really well packaged it seems really really well packaged and actually seems pretty good good quality too so we'll put this together and we'll see what it looks like okay so these are all the parts that come with it these bars here they screw into each other 
So these bars are what go on the rack here. And you will see here, there's holes here and here. And that's where these will see attach. Here, that's where the, the screw and poles will actually go in. And it comes with these hooks and uh, all these extra little organizing trays. And then you have full instructions on how to use it. And it came with 11 screws and an extra uh, I guess that would be called like a, a screw washer, plastic washer. Uh, so the, and then there's these are the racks that go on. So this is, and then it has here the card here, maintaining tips for stainless steel dry rack, a drying rack. Uh, yeah, so pretty good, pretty cool. So I mean, they could have probably put information on the back of that and saved paper. But who knows, right? You can put your you can put your little, uh, you know, your silverware and your, your forks in there. And you can put like your dish soap maybe probably in there if you wanted. That kind of thing. This is what the rack looks like with nothing on it except for the hooks, which you had to put on the actual bar before you actually put it together because they've got the, um, the, the loop on there. So you have to have those on first before you actually put it together That's what it looks like with nothing and i have this uh 16 inch high 16 inches high by moen here the um faucet so that fits quite well i mean if you wanted to have this come out further you could you can have it go back farther bring it up and you still have room to actually open and close your curtain if you want to. And you can open and close the curtain. So you have enough room if you need to um, do like move anything out of the way like that. So, and these are all the pieces. There are a screw and a washer left over. And this is the um, Allen wrench uh, that comes with it. I think it's not. It's an Allen wrench? Yeah, it's an Allen wrench, right? Allen wrench. I don't know why I don't know what it's called. And then these are all the different parts that I think this goes with this. So you can put your stuff on there. I'm guessing. I don't know. But anyways, they have like all the different things here. And they give you the instructions on where to put them. I mean, you can you can follow the instructions and put whatever you want in the areas that you want to put on. So you have all your the different racks up there. So you can put the racks up there like that. And then you have the other ones here. I think you can put the the bottom ones at the bottom that are flat so you have the flat ones there the flat the flat ones this is funny this is instructions for oh okay here's my instructions oh my goodness so they save paper for you so if you buy the one the two tier uh dishwasher dish rack dish drying rack two tier dish drying rack if you buy the one tier that's what you get if you buy two tier drying rack, you get the two levels and then a little bit more with it. So you can you can change it up. You can put the flat rack there and then all your dishes in that up there. And then this one goes down here like this. Okay, so I just wanted to show you how well packaged this one was. I think I showed you at the beginning there, but you can really see how well it's packaged. It's like very hard to break into. So you can tell when this comes to you, it's gonna to come to you really well packaged. Um, it's a powder coated paint, powder coating. Um, I'm guessing it's steel underneath of some type. It's really lightweight though. It doesn't feel like steel to me, but um, it seems pretty good, seems all right. I haven't put it together yet, but I just wanted to show you the packaging. I was really impressed with the packaging. I think I find that great. It's all sealed up and shrink wrapped. I think that's awesome. So you know when a company cares and you're spending quite a bit of money on something, they wanna make sure that you're getting a legit product that's not gonna be damaged. 
So the company has the instructions, it shows you what's in, inside, um, how to put it together, what type of stand you have. Do you have a two tier uh, or do you have one tier? So I got the one tier because the two tier wasn't available, it was actually sold out. So anyways, this is the instructions and I'm gonna put it together. Right. So these are all the pieces from the So you can see all the pieces that came with this dish the drawing company rack. name. This is where who created this dish drawing rack. This is powder coated with black paint. Uh, here's the two racks that you put on part of the rack. And then you have your different little baskets here. And then it has all the screws, bolts and nuts, nuts and bolts and the suction cups. And then there's some hooks that came included. So you can hang like maybe cups or something or whatever you want. Uh, there's a basket here to put your silverware in. And then it has another one here. You can put like your cutting board in there or, and then in here, sorry, this one is a called a knife cage. So the knife cage you can you can put your knives in there and it'll dry them. So like you can dry your knives in there without getting stabbed, I guess. Um, so yeah, it's got all the proper, um, you know, uh, hardware that comes with it. Um, it looks pretty legit uh, quality. It's really, really, really lightweight. It's not very heavy. Um, so I'll see how this goes. I bought two of them because I didn't know which one I wanted. This one didn't have very many reviews on it, but on the .com website, it had a lot of reviews. So so this, this one I got, I was like, oh, it looked pretty cool. Maybe I'll review it, and if I don't like it, I can always return, I guess. In comparison to the one here, this one looks like it holds a lot more because it's two tier, and this is only one tier, I think. I don't think this is two tiers, just one tier. So when I was deciding on getting it, I was like, oh, I don't think this is gonna have a lot of room, but I can put it together and, and go from there and see what happens. So uh, if you wanna check out more information on them, again, I was not sponsored. I bought this with my own money. Uh, you're welcome to contact them. They have a warranty. They provide all customers with warranties which begin purchase, purchase day. Please refer to the product description on the Amazon. Yeah, so they, if you have any questions, you can you can get the item replaced, I guess. I'm not sure, but they'll give you more information and follow all their social media. End result with the rack with nothing on it. Um, it has different ones that you can take off and move around. It comes with a couple of hooks. I think about eight hooks, I think, I think doesn't even say yeah eight hooks so you can put four cups here four cups there hang whatever you want put your dish soap whichever uh toilet roll or not toilet roll but paper towel roll uh, this is a knife cage so this knife cage you can put in there for drying your your stuff or whatever you want to do so it's pretty pretty roomy it's really lightweight um, and the screws are a bit of a pain in the butt to put in because you have to have something to hold this nut to tighten the Allen key. When you're tightening the Allen key, you have to have some kind of, of tool. So I used a wrench. So I held the wrench here and used the Allen key to turn it so it would tighten up. The nice feature about this is it has suction cups at the bottom. So when you have your rack by your sink, it's not gonna move around too much. Like this is, it's pretty, it's pretty stable on my table. Again, I've got a tablecloth there, it's but. It's pretty cute, it's nice. It's definitely got different features. Things you can definitely move it around. This one you can put your silverware in. Uh, you can, this one you can put your silverware in and then let it drip dry like everything else. Uh, the hooks, they're not bad. They're just very, they're just a small type of hook pretty pretty small hooks probably you could put a cup on there I don't know I haven't really tested it out yet but um, these ones here you can see they're interchangeable so you can change them up and put them wherever you want you can put them down here 
Um, you can change up the baskets. Can, they're really on there. Like you really have to, I don't even know if the paint's gonna last on this. Cause it's just, you, you go to put it on, it's just, you really have to, see it's not an easy task. See, at least, at least you know it's going to stay on there secure, right? It's going to stay on there. I've so got some good. dishes, and you can see that they're they're drip drying. And I put them. There's some um, silverware drip drying. That's great. I really like this. It's actually really cool. I'm so indecisive. Maybe I'll just switch from week to week which one I like. I don't know. Isn't that awful? Okay, so I set up the rack and you can see it can fit quite a few bowls, glasses, smaller dishes or plates, big plates. I have about seven plates up there and then seven big plates. And then I have my dish soaps here. So you can put it on this little rack here. And then I've got all the little hooks. You can use the hooks for whatever you want. And then I have my brushes on some of the other hooks. So you can take some glasses and you can hang them like that if you want it. It's really your call. I don't know how stable that's gonna be. But if you're just like hanging them there, I guess it's okay. Uh, there's, it's a trial. Like I've never really used this before. It's my first time really using it. so. My feelings on it, I have a lot of mixed emotions about it. Let's put it that way. This is a knife cage, so you can put your knives in there and then it can drip drive through the bottom. Uh, and then you can put your silverware in here and it'll drip dry from the bottom there too. So you can see, you can see the little, little holes so that the water can drip through and the silverware can dry properly. So that's great. Uh, so there's lots of room for different things, plates, bowls, whatever your imagination. I mean, you could use this for a fruit rack, whatever you want. What I right? don't like about this is that it doesn't have a second tier, like for another shelf for more space. It's like example, I have these glass containers here that I bought from Ikea. And what I liked is that I could have, if I had a second tier, I could put my glass up there, right? Or up here. This is what I liked about this one. So I originally just was gonna buy this one and I was up in the air. I'm like, oh, I like this one too. Which, should, which one should I get? Cause I don't wanna use my Ikea uh, dish rack anymore because I'm done with it. It takes up too much space. I like to keep my counter space open uh, so that I can do dishes and it's like doesn't look cluttered and it's like more more of a organized space, right? So that you can get access to different things. So it, it seems like it's well constructed for the price. You're looking at like $80. Like, it was a crazy amount of money for a um, like a dish rack, a dish drying rack. But I like all the little things. And if you have Ikea baskets, you can always add them on there too, I think. I have some upstairs I should bring downstairs. They're like these little red baskets. And I think they probably work, that, work out really well. So now I have access to my sink now. I can turn on the water and do my dishes. And, and not worry too much about what's going on, right? So I have more access, things seem more organized to me. So I mean, I'm up in the air about either one. Maybe I'll use the rack for something else, I don't know. But anyways, these are my reviews. Um, I hopefully helped you give you an idea of what's out there. I really wish that I had somebody sponsor me for this video, but they didn't. And I spent my own money on this because I really needed a dish drying rack. So this worked out pro perfectly. Uh, this company here, you can see them. They're online. Here's all their social media and you can contact them. You can go on their website and they guarantee their products. So that's great. So thank you for choosing. 
choosing the company, so that's great. So overall, I'm, I have mixed emotions. I like this one a lot. I like that it has the two tiers, uh, two tiers of shelving, and you can put lots of things up there. Uh, it's pretty stable rack. It's not too bad. These ones don't really have a suction cup. It's more just a foot at the bottom. Unlike these ones here, they have a suction cup. So it doesn't move it at all. Like it's really stable. Like once it's on there, it's on there because of the weight pushing down on it. Anyways, thank you so much for watching my video and I really appreciate you subscribing, sharing and liking my videos and uh, keep following me on, on my uh, Facebook page, on my Instagram and on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day. Bye. Thank you for watching Visual Eye Candy's reviews just for you.